Hey everybody, I'm David Geisler, host of the Technophiles podcast, here yet again with T.C. DeWitt of Disney Top Shelf and Much Longer Title. <laughs> Top Shelf, Disney Animation Studios podcast. Don't sound too thrilled about me being here. <laughs> You're just mad because I tried to blow on your cartridge and put the game in. Yeah, man. And, and I don't you... I don't need your I don't need your top shelf <laughs> only, spit on only, my cartridge. Only you know how to do it. Anyone who ever had a cartridge system, <laughs> you had your method for getting the game to work. Oh my gosh, TC! <laughs> thank you so much for being here again. I'm I mean, glad this is, to be back here. This is now the fourth video in a six-video series we're right. doing. Yep. If you're watching this on the playlist, go back and watch the other episodes. They're amazing. We so the truth is, yeah, I will admit we kind of designed this as a single episode. We just didn't want it to be three hours long, so we thought let's break it up into yeah, chapters yeah. here and make them each their own video. You're welcome to watch them out of order, but it's a lot better if you watch them in order, unlike the Star Wars films. <laughs> what a weird dig for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking about it right now because I'm actually reintroducing, not reintroducing, introducing my nieces, uh, five and eight, to uh, Star Wars in the first place right now. Ah, uh, okay. And um, very inter- there's a whole, we could do a whole, a whole real podcast thing. about that. But um, so I've had an interesting experience of watching them, I guess you could say, in order, in mm-hmm. numerical order. No, but these are, your nieces are... I'm assuming by the fact that they're nieces, all girls. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. Do they like Disney movies? Um, they do, in fact, because uh, but they don't listen to your show. They're not quite old well, enough. Well, I wouldn't yet, expect TC. them to listen to the show. They're like what, I, eight. <laughs> I'm picking up on your. I'm picking up on what you're putting down. Why don't you tell people why the heck you're here? Uh, so the Disney uh, Animation Studios podcast that I do with Jeff Bell over at the Ghost Hat Network, the top shelf. Uh, the top shelf podcast network on facebook.com slash top shelf pod is a we- uh, weekly podcast where we are watching one animated Disney movie at a time, starting with Snow White and working our way up to Moana, specifically in the an- Disney Animation Studios library, which is 56 films. Um, and uh, David invited me on to do yes. this. Uh, this little well, fun. I we're tell in you the off what, season, right? Technophiles. Yeah, we're in between seasons right now. Yes. And I'm not bored, but like uh, on a whim, I did a let's play with ex cast member or old cast member Juno Okowski a few weeks ago, and I loved it so much that this is what I want to do for all of my season breaks now. Is just do <laughs> let's play plays. Games. It's a little off mess, not off message, but you know, normally Technophiles is, of course, as I, the people who are on this channel already know, it's usually a focus on celebrating science and technology yeah. and new things that are happening. But in the meantime, I'm such a fan of your show that you do with Jeff that I kind of thought, well, what if we get together and play some games and for the fun of it let's let's keep let's do a real kind of crossover thing here and we'll play some disney games excellent uh this is a f- game number four game number four so what we are doing here is we are going to be playing the beauty and the beast super nintendo game mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now a lot of people didn't realize that this game even existed <laughs> it had a very strange release schedule and um it kind of came out in the shadow of believe it or not Lion King. It was a weird kind of thing. It didn't okay. actually come out when Beauty and the Beast, the film, did. Now, we actually spoke about, in our last episode with the Little Mermaid game, that game came out a couple years, or close to, and a couple years after the movie did, because I think the game was an afterthought. Mm-hmm. And um, we're entering a space now as we go into, what is it called, the Renaissance? The, the Disney Renaissance era would be the 90s, uh, The pretty much the, the Disney movies that you're most familiar with. You listening right now are most <laughs> familiar with. Aladdin, Lion King, Little Mermaid, Little Beauty, Mermaid Beast, Beauty and all the Beast. of that. And that's the space we're in right now. So anyway, so now we're getting into a space also where the games are coming out with the films. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Let's get right in here. I'm going to get this recorder started and we can keep chatting about it, okay? Cool. Let's do it. Okay, so um, now <laughs> 94 Hudson Soft did this. So this is not mm. kind of the heroes which have been oh. uh, Virgin Interactive and uh, Capcom, Capcom so far. Right. Different company. In a faraway land. Not now, bad. now, for those of you who are familiar with Top Shelf will know this, but those who maybe knew, I'm going to go and check it out. Beauty and the Beast is, Jeff loves this movie. Your co host, or whatever. Yeah, Jeff Jeff, uh, Jeff Bell, who created the Top Shelf Network and, and uh, I co host with for our, our Disney podcast. He loves Beauty and the Beast. And uh, I'm, I have not. I am not familiar with this game, but uh, as I understand, it will challenge a you person's love for. Yeah. So this is a this is an interesting journey to Beauty and the Beast games. There's you could almost write an entire blog post or do a whole episode on that. I was about to start playing this myself, mm-hmm. but I have played this game. Obviously, oh, okay, okay. why don't I give it to you and just let you figure it out oh, as you geez. go? You know, I, but I'm just gonna let this cycle as I yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I I understand the marketing behind creating a game to connect to connect to um a uh, uh something coming out like it's right. you know you release the mcdonald's toys you read slit you cash in on the success of a film right some films don't need a video game 
Wait, 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 wait. Oh. We're just gonna push start because I don't even oh. want the demo. Oh, okay, okay. Some some films <laughs> don't need video game adaptations. I agree. Yeah, and like, I would argue that even Pinocchio was close yeah, to not needing it. I was thinking that earlier when we were playing it. Like that's why I kept comparing it to. Uh, we were saying like in Aladdin, he's stealing bread and. You yeah, know, that like, makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Lion King, there's adventures to be had in the jungle. The same with Jungle Book. I mean, we haven't got to Lion King yet. But Beauty and the Beast, um, I, I don't know what this content. Here we go. Be. Wait, let's. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You're wondering why it needs to be a game. I'm yeah. You know what the game should be? It should. Uh, Here we go. Figure okay, it so, out, man. So I'm Beast. All right. Let me just check the. Oh, oh are we on Super Nintendo, okay. Yep, yeah. Super Nintendo. What am I doing? I think there's a roar. I think that's when he sings. That's when he sings Evermore. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's jump. Oh god, that's a spider. Now right hey. off the bat you can tell the graphic style is very different than the Capcom games and the Virgin games. Give me give me that. You know, it's very Super Nintendo. It almost feels Page Master esque. Oh, jeez, come on. He's sneaking up on me. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right, I'm scared of him, ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Alright. So uh, Lumiere's bringing you along. Alright, Lumiere. I see. Oh, God. Spider. Spiders everywhere. Yeah. Oh. Mm. What could you do? What could you do, uh, Beastie? Okay, I can run. Yeah. Now, it took me a while. The first time I played this game a few years ago, because I find, finally found this thing. Like, so I go to like old used <laughs> stores and stuff. <laughs> nope, it's not Mario Brothers 2. Mm -hmm. it took me a while to discover that there's a strange boulder there to the left. Oh, okay. So you, uh, you're, oh, okay, nice. Hey <laughs> All right, cool. Kill beast. the beast! He's down in the dungeon, Bell's running away, Lumiere's trying to bring him somewhere. Nice moves I there. need to go kidnap this girl. All right. You know who should really be in this game? Huh. It should be a guest It on. should be a guest on. <laughs> Yeah, right? So, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. To the spikes. Is that a flower petal? Uh, yes, I believe it oh. is. Okay, I got it. Ah! Rats! There, you're dead. Oh. What the heck just happened here? So I'm going to try now. Okay, okay. And I'm going to confess to you that even though I've played this game many times years ago... Yeah. I've, Go get her! I've only gotten, like, two screens further than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, good. Because we were flying... Like, you were flying through Jungle Book. Like, you weren't kidding. Well, I was, like, re with reckless abandon. I was hitting all the spikes. Yeah. I was running through monkeys. Oh, yeah! This is... Those so are you Black Widows, trigger. dude. Yeah. You can't trigger them until they're in the space they can hit you from. So, you know, again, look at our graphics. Look at our animation style. This is not hand-drawn sprites. This is Hudson doing their own stuff here. Yeah. All right, let's pick this up. Throw it. There's one. So all you have is the claw. What was the roar? A button. Yeah. But it doesn't do anything? <laughs> well, it shakes the ground. I think if Whoa! I, I think Wait, if I hold it and push forward... Oh, okay, so you build up your roar. Is this like the roar that's in Lion King? I think that this... Let me try it again. <laughs> Maybe Beast does. He could be like a downloadable DLC in, oh, your, yeah, uh, yeah. So in your magical fighting have, game. I have this wish. I want. I dream. It's almost someone, a running gag on your show. Yeah, that the uh, someone tweeted us about who we thought were the most, who was the most powerful magic user in the movies we had watched so far, which led us to creating the scenario of the Wizards Duel video game. It would be a Street Fighter type game, and only magic users would be in the game. Real quick, for the first time I've ever. I've always fallen down that pit. Yeah. I crossed it. And check this out. There's nothing there. There's, I think there's nothing to do. So you do have to fall through that pit. Just don't hit the spikes. Oh, except oh, sing. Oh. <laughs> I was the oh, one who geez. had it all. <laughs> <laughs> wrong wrong graphic style. Different graphics. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you're, you're, you're so the fighting game with yeah. the wizards. Beast could be... Oh, well, okay. It would be Does a he board. have magic? He's, He's possessed. Look at die in the same spot. <laughs> Try it one more time, and we might move on because we we I have a surprise game for you. Oh, We're gonna play three uh, games in this video. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, kill the beast! <laughs> no, you are the beast. Kill the spider. Come on, this freaking spider. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so you go, you go like this, and then you press forward. Yeah. Okay. It must do something. Right, but see. you don't have enough time to power up on these spiders because they you know spawn when you get close or whatever. <laughs> Maybe on the rats. So usually I, I get killed. Hey, hey there right, we go. Right, Physics. Right. Breath of the Wild. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, there's another one. I see. see those red dots? See those predator dots? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I can't tell. I think your life is the heart. I don't know what the... The rose might be the timer. Oh. When the rose is gone. Oh. That's kind of clever. You know what this feels very much like is huh. an arcade game. Like, arcade games are impossible because they want you to keep pumping quarters That's in true. It, right? That's absolutely true. So if you think of, like, uh, 
Uh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, come on. Oh, no. On to the spikes. Uh, okay, I'll try one more time, geez. and then maybe we move on. Oh, so, well, there's the continue. Let's stop it there. Let's stop it there, yeah, yeah. What's okay. up? Hey, Cogsworth, I mean... How's a kid supposed to play this game? It's it's hard. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, as we've been doing Mommy, with all I of love our videos, Beauty and the Beast. Give me the Beauty and the Beast yes, games. Yes, I know. It's it's almost cruel. <laughs> but then again, I don't know. Maybe the little kid wouldn't know. My nieces do enjoy playing this game for about thirty seconds, and then they move on. But they like it for those thirty seconds. He's going again. We're, so while you're playing this, I'm going to set up what we're going to be doing okay. next. Yeah, go we are going to be playing a Game Boy Color game for Beauty and the Beast, which came out in 1999. Oh, almost four or five years after this came out. 99, man. That Tarzan was coming out in theaters. And and they've released a Beauty and the Beast game? A Beauty and the Beast game for Game Boy Color. The only Game Boy game for Beauty and the Beast. There was also two that came out for Sega Genesis. There was one that was you were Bell playing something, and, there, and then there was like a a counter game where you're playing Beast, but that was a different company. We're doing Nintendo games today. <laughs> I'm just making this assumptions. This is kind of working. I'm just making assumptions that, they're coming. that there's going to be one coming. That's a spider. Oh, that's a bat. A bat. Oh, come on! Did this might be a record for the furthest I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh, ever seen. <laughs> um, this might be a record for the first I've ever ah. seen this game be played. I'm not joking. Oh, Ooh, I made it to the door. Stone. I made it to Can't go in the door? Oh. Oh, okay. I got something right there. Yeah, can you, you cannot go in that door? Pushing up or anything? Nothing? <laughs> he does have that face. Um, uh -huh. Try breaking the since this is new to me. Try bringing the stone all the way to the right. Like maybe you use it to cross those spikes or something. Wow. Must be <laughs> you a You were all ready stone. to quit on me, huh? Yeah. Well, now you got me going. This is the furthest anyone has ever gotten in this game. <laughs> I think it might be. Oh. <laughs> um. So you know, I could I couldn't wait for us to play these games because I know Jeff loves beating the beast and. Uh, Oh, that maybe is how you do this, because that's how you hit that spider. Okay. okay. Oh. Whoa, no. big one. Don't die. Don't die. Wait, I'm going to try to do it. Wait for it. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought you were dead. <laughs> I thought die. you were gone. Wait. Oh. So it freezes him for a second. Fear me. Just like, I am the beast. <laughs> just like oh, Simba in Lion King. What? Oh, what? Why? I can climb a wall. How did this game just get cool? <laughs> can I jump? Oh. This game got cool. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Maybe this game is so bad. How am I gonna get that spider? He looks awesome. You can't jump on him. Honestly, huh? I can can't. you go down and then scrape to the right? You know, like can you can you attack out to the right right now? No, it won't. Nothing. Ah! Okay, sorry. I, everyone, wow. everyone's like going to the next one. I know, but wait, we're discovering new territory here. <laughs> oh yeah! Ah! There it is. No! Wow. We'll take it. We'll wait. take it. All right, TC, here oh, we go. Boy, okay. All right. This is Disney Beauty and the Beast Game Boy is. Color. Now, we've played a bunch of Game Boy games, and they're usually in a close approximation of what the Super Nintendo game is. Right, right, right. So right. I'm I'm assuming by your tone that this will not this be is, what we just played. Well, did you see what's happening here? So, oh, gosh. Oh, so it's better. <laughs> Wait, a board game adventure? <laughs> what is it called? A Game Boy game. You, you have you, a game. You can't even do multiplayer. <laughs> what? Okay, let's... Oh, I, oh, delete it, delete it. This is from when I was playing it earlier, when I was giving it a try. Delete, delete game, game yeah. yes. Okay. okay, let's do story game. Story so game. wait, wait, real quick. Yeah, yeah, Board yeah. game is four players. It's like they tried to make like a Mario Party. Oh, okay. And um, four players is you take the Game Boy and pass it. We're obviously running the Game Boy game up on the screen here, mm -hmm. but um, you pass it around because you can't see what the other person does. So how is that fun at all? What? <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? So you're just waiting at for least someone to, to... To pass you the game back. In the real world, if you think about playing this on a game yeah, board. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do story game, okay. where they make you play a board. Um, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Easy. Easy. So, what? the village Wait, board. what year did this come out? 99. This looks... Keep going. Okay. Uh, I you gotta complete the village board first. In the Three. story of the game, you must find the beast before Gaston. Good luck. Oh, so I'm Bell. Um, perhaps. I know in the board Gaston game. Gaston speaks to the When you cat. play, look at these graphics, man. This is worse than what we were seeing yeah. on Jungle Book. When we were looking at Jungle Book, I was complimenting the. <laughs> he'll turn them. Turn. He'll harm your children. We are not safe until the beast is dead. Yep. <laughs> Belle is locked in the cellar while the angry mob head for the castle. All right, let's do this. Okay, Keep here. pushing A. Let's get into this. Okay. Because uh, 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 okay. we're gonna be here for. So kill the beast. Kill the beast. Okay, then chip. I have so many questions about Chip as a character. Was he a kid who got turned into a cup? Was he born as a cup? As a cup? You're and absolutely then, right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, here's the board. So Gaston's rolling. Okay. Now it's going to be your turn. 
Push A, a bell. Bell. You roll okay, the die. I roll oh, a dice. four. Plus zero. I don't know why. Okay. One, two, three, three four. four. Cogsworth. Okay. okay so every character is a different mini game. Answer the question before it runs out. Answer <laughs> fast for better rewards. Okay. <laughs> Your accent kind of faded there, dude. <laughs> I gave up. Uh, what is the be- what is his accent? He's I don't know. Trusty oh, horse. Oh, what is what is That's Trusty his horse's name? It's Philippe. Yeah, of course it is. Do it. Oh, you're almost running out of time. I know. I do. Oh. <laughs> Congrats, trivia cool. results. Wait, man. Cogs with this. This hard. is action packed. <laughs> Kids would be. <laughs> Stop playing your Game Boy Beauty and the Beast game and do your homework. I can't. It's so action You're grounded. No more board game Beauty and the Beast on your Game Boy. <laughs> okay, roll one. Oh. Wait, did guess. What? Wait. Find, find the, the matching machine. pairs behind the doors. So basically, all these mini games are just ripoffs of other games. Mario Party. Uh, oh, no, it's just it's Mario 3 memory. Where was Val? You can be wrong only twice. I think he was. Oh. I think he was. He was next to row him. two two there. Oh, there's Cogsworth. That's Cogsworth. I think Beast is just one to the right there, actually. There it is. Oh, well, I didn't look at anyone else. See, all the others, I don't. I don't know. That's Nefu right. or Lefu. Oh no! One more. Oh crap! One more. No! Uh. I'm a failure. This is not fun. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> I so I li- so I remember. Okay. Um, oh, I keep thought. Going, keep talking. I thought that. Uh, when I was trying to find the Ninten- the Super Nintendo Beauty and the Beast cartridge, I assumed it was going to be of the quality of, like, Lion King Just and Just the transfer. And- What's that? Just the transfer? The oh, actual no, Super ahead. Nintendo game. Okay. When I was li- in yeah. the real world, when I was looking for the cartridge, because yeah. it is kind of hard to find, I was like, oh, I've got to get my hands on that Beauty and the Beast SNES game. And <laughs> so I finally did and discovered and got it. And you got further than me today. <laughs> and then on that note, though, having no idea what the Game Boy game was, I was at a used video game store and I was like, oh, cool. I kind of get a kick out of, as I've already said in this series, I get a kick out of comparing and contrasting the Game Boy game to the Nintendo game to the Super Nintendo game. Right. You can learn some things about the development process. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I can't wait to compare this. I popped this in <laughs> into my Game Boy player on my GameCube and within 10 seconds, I was like, what? Creator shooter than Gaston. Uh, there's no greater shooter than Gaston. So step up and try to prove me wrong. Just, what was what board meeting were they like, oh, we gotta do like a, we gotta do like a board game. Yeah, you know, you know what's really big right now? Mario Party. Uh, right? <laughs> uh, so we should make a crappy version of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. even it, doing it on a Game Boy where the whole idea of even playing, we're playing the single player right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But even I mean, playing the social. Passing this around. You like, can't even watch what the other people are doing. Shoot the targets, avoid the bombs. Okay. I did not uh, I want you to get the Maurice one because it's it's just a Game and Watch ripoff. So this is, so this is. Uh, wow. I think hold don't me shoot the red. Hold me back here. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what's going on. Uh oh. Uh, 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 what what? Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god! Don't shoot the bomb. Okay. Uh, I think I'm pretty good at this. Uh, oh boy! Oh, hold on, your horses, folks. Oh, I missed. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm hoping to roll think? one more time because I hope you get the Maurice one because it is just a Game & Watch ripoff. Yeah. And uh, if not, we'll, oh, I have Maurice. a surprise for oh, you. That's, that's, that's Gaston. Gaston. Well, I want to see Gaston's game. It would make the game much more exciting. Does that mean, is the beast just the end of the level of the board? I think so. Let's do again. Uh, All right. So I, yeah, what's up? 99. Did... So there was a there's a special edition version of Beauty and the Beast that they added a song to. Oh, this might have come out around could then. Could that? I'd have to, you know. I mean, I could, there's no. no way to know. There's no way to know. I think it was early. T- yeah. <laughs> Tell me more of this internet idea. Um, I think that this predates that. I think that was in the early 2000s, wasn't it? Because it was after the Lion King scene ad thing. Or no, it was Lion King second? Uh, no, they did be in, yeah, they did Beauty and the Beast first in terms of update. And at the time with the Beauty and Beast one, it was like, well, we're going to just take that song that was in the Broadway show that was originally supposed to be in the movie anyway, but we'd cut it out. Yeah. Because I remember when they added that song to the Broadway show, they were like, it was supposed to be in there. Yeah, uh, for Lion King? For, no, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, it was intended to be in the... Original film. But they ran out of time and, mu- and budget yep. to, to make it, so they cut it. Put it in the Broadway. And then they went back. And put it in. And... and put it in and, and it's not good I'm, I'm kind of you can even tell the animation style changes yeah. it's uncomfortable like the the Lion King they added they added a song 
um, The Morning Report, which is from yep. the Broadway version. And that pretty seamlessly goes into The Lion King. Well, they did a fun thing with The Lion King one where they actually, within the middle of a take, or a take or cut, whatever it is in animation, mm-hmm. they they worked off those cells. So the first half of a shot is the original cells, and then right in the same shot, that, yeah. they built off. So they didn't even cut to a new shot. They really kind of morphed it together, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, they put a lot more effort into it than I feel like they would be in the Beast. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and for those watching this who may not have... Oh, I could have got the... The timer. Okay. Um, who might be watching this and haven't checked out the podcast, well, we, Jeff and I certainly go in a far more depth into the differences between Beauty and the Beast as the original version and the... Oh, I did really well. <laughs> this is the only game where as you do better, it gets worse. Like, it's more boring. <laughs> I think he might actually get to the Beast. Like, how was one I more su- turn. Let's see this ca- out. Let's see this out. Go one more time. I'm how sorry, How was I supposed audience. to catch him anyway? I don't know. He just rolled better than you. You got a plus yeah. four there somehow. Now in the board, when you play oh. multiplayer... Oh, I got okay. Maurice. I mean, it's not any better or worse, but it's... <laughs> It's just dumb because, like, you, get? you get you're like, oh, cool, just okay, another mini game. Bell. I'm going to test it out. Yeah, be careful, Papa. Remember what happened last time. So let's see. The games so far have been bad shooting gallery, right? Trivia. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't. What was the other one? Go. So this is what? oh memory a oh, memory game. Uh, I'm like ca- I'm catching. Okay. Yeah, it's just game and watch. I know I've said that a hundred times already. Boop, you're just bouncing boop, them boop, over. Boop, 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 yep. There we go. Hey, you're not doing too bad. Oh boy. Oh, come on. This. Oh! Whoa. Oh, Maurice, get it together, man. <laughs> you know, I don't think Belle's mom died. I think she left Maurice. Yeah. Too many log bouncing. Is that too, is that too dark? Did I get too dark right there? Um. So a, a, a theory you may have heard on... You know what? Do it. Humor me, because I don't... This episode of... Uh, so if you go to Top Shelf, you'll hear this this theory. Um, and this is being released simultaneous with yep. with our episode. It's kind of working out convenient. Oh, that come way. on! Maurice. <laughs> um, it, this I was really excited when I heard this theory. So we do a section on uh, on the Top Shelf podcast sure. where we, we theorize films. Do you want to? I'll take the I'll take the controller okay. and see this out to the end here. Keep telling your story. The uh, oh, I think we just lost. Uh, <laughs> Bell does, does not, not reach, reach the, the beast, beast in time. time. <laughs> you know what? That was my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> when she doesn't when reach, she the doesn't beast. reach the beast in time. <laughs> in time. All right, wait. Save fog. your story. Let's switch over. I have a little surprise for you. Oh here. God, no! I thought this was the surprise. Uh, this was gonna be enough. Oh, I did a little bit of research, mm-hmm. and there's a Nintendo version of the Super Nintendo Beauty and the Beast they, that was released in Europe. Did they downres it to Nintendo? Let's just play it. Okay, hit that little button. We, let's let's like, do the flashy slide, it. and then you're gonna keep telling your story. Okay. And then I'm going to show you. Okay, TC, here we go. Okay, so this they, is Hudson again. The yeah. same guys who did the... I'm going to give you the controller. The really, I don't mind. really good... Super Nintendo game. Super Nintendo game. Uh, <laughs> Somehow I feel like that game... I mean, maybe that was part of the whole, like, let's not mm-hmm. let the kids rent... Oh, oh look at these boy. graphics. <laughs> so, theory real quick. There's less color. Where's red? Oh, my God. The the quick theory. Uh, yeah. There goes the baker with his tray like always. Right, yes. she sings that song, right? Yeah. The theory, and you'll hear us go into in depth on it on the top shelf episode. Uh-huh. I'm gonna guess the mom goes with the baker. Keep going. No. Okay. It is literally the same tray like always. That Belle and Maurice are the only two people in that village not stuck in a time loop. Oh my my my. <laughs> so if you want to hear more of that, you gotta listen to the full episode. But Fantastic. I love that I theory wait. when um, when we when we go searching for theories and and people will tweet them at us. When that one came to my attention, I was like, I love it. Because Jeff and I are big time travel fans. So. Of course. No, hey, look, this graphic, these aren't too bad. Okay. We've got some shading there. All right. This is, what system was this for? This is Nintendo. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so, boy. okay, some shading. Let's get into this. We've yeah, got about hit, five minutes here. I'm just going to hit start here. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, it's the door I was at before. I know. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, can I do the? Please tell me there's a roar. It's only A and B, of course. <laughs> he can look up. There's Wait, no, there's punch. Can I, I punch so and not, jump? So okay. not even claw, just punch Rah. and jump. Is this gonna hurt me? No, oh, okay. No. Bah! Uh oh, <laughs> bats, get those bats. Uh, ah! God! Is that good or bad? I think that's a book. Rah. Okay, good. <coughs> Pardon me. Whee! Over the pit. We assume there's spikes down there. Have you played this before? Yes. 
Okay. Well, only recently. <laughs> oh god. Wait. How do you wait. get up there? Oh, do you gotta find a stone or something? Oh god. Maybe I can climb. Yes! Yeah! Yeah, remember we learned that. I actually didn't know that right here. <laughs> I didn't play this game this far. Oh! What? That was pure luck. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, skill. Oh, rats! Wow. Wait, what? What? That is rat that? is. Was that a rat or a bat? Well, I started as a rat. <laughs> I don't know what it turned into. What's the noise I'm hearing? It's when you oh. get these books, or maybe that's like the noise of mice chasing uh, you. Uh, 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 uh. Can you stand on that wood? So the climbing thing's fun. It's Spider-Man E. Okay, so I stand and it disappears. Oh, okay, okay. Do 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 do. Yeah. Do, do. What song is this? This was my favorite do, song. Do, 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 do. This almost sounds like it's coming from the Jurassic Park Game Boy game. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. Did you have a favorite game? Like, I know we're playing the Disney games here, but have you? did you have a favorite... Oh, good, I got life. Um, Interesting. Nintendo game? Oh, God! Okay. Uh, probably. Shh. I'd have to think about it a little bit. The first... Oh, gosh. Okay. Nintendo specifically? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> you want to give it a go? Oh, sure, I'll try it once, <laughs> and then we'll keep moving. Uh, like, I really loved my Darkwing Duck game. Even yeah. though I could never beat it. So, I think as a kid... The real highlight for me was Excite Bike because I just loved oh, building yeah. my own tracks. And I used to like save up my dollars and rent it from the local mm -hmm. uh, rental store. I bought. And the thing is, every time I brought it back, of course, you know, if I rented it again, I could never save my tracks. Yeah. So I started yeah. drawing them on graph paper. <laughs> You're crazy. So that when I rented the game again, I'd rebuild my tracks. Nice. So you could try to beat your record. That's pretty. It looks like a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's awesome. If we see that great thing again, let yeah. it. Yeah, that looks like a triceratops. Can I pause? Oh yeah. no, no. Um, oh, so that, you just kind of push against the wall for that, huh? Uh, yeah. Um, Can I go down here? You think? Oh! oh! Hey! Oh. Ah! I, he's very dramatic when he gets hit. <laughs> it's the two arms. Yeah, we don't have that cool. Roar. <laughs> the um, he can duck and he can go up. I remember saving up to buy a Super Nintendo. My cousin had a Super Nintendo. Punch that spider. So I saved up and I and punch I, it. I bought it like my hard-earned money. Bought a Super Nintendo. Yeah. It's funny because my nephew just recently saved up and bought an Xbox One. And, I mean, in what? A 25. Years. I cannot grab the. <laughs> I can't grab the chains. You can't grab the chains. All right, we're done here. So yeah, you you bought the Xbox it's just, One. It, it like mentioned in a previous episode about like how far technology has come in such a short amount of time. T little adolescent me, I don't know, I was like 11 or 12, was like, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a Super Nintendo. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe it would go somewhere. <laughs> All right, we got to cut this off. Was um, this the last one? Yeah, this is oh, it for oh, this. This is it for this. Okay. Let me. Uh, I want more beauty in the crappy Beauty and the Beast. Oh games. <laughs> man, you know I don't know. Like I said, there's two that came out for Sega Genesis that were actually reviewed a little bit better. But mm -hmm. you're gonna try one more time. What? Well, while we're play while we here. do our outros. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, of course I'm Dave Geiser from the Tech Files Podcast, as most people know from this channel. Jeez, oh, what? That, it won't you let can... me go past the screen. <laughs> How could you learn? Who for who could love? Who I just could learn? I just pushed it. A. Oh, okay. A, B, so, Dave from... Okay. from uh... Yeah, Tech the Files. You can find us at Tech the Files Pod on Twitter. And uh, go to our website, techfilespodcast.com, where I think I will be posting these episodes. Even though I said this is kind of a off of our normal thing, TC. Yeah. I think I'll still throw these up on our actual website. Do, 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 and um, <laughs> TC, so now you have the honors of giving your outro while you're trying to play <laughs> as the Beast. Uh, I am TC Dewitt from the Top Shelf Disney Animation Studios podcast. You can find that on ghosthat.net or on the Top Shelf Facebook page, facebook.com. Oh, get off me! <laughs> Facebook. Look at those fangs! Jesus, come on! <laughs> I can't... He's okay. chewing on you. He he's so... Did you see how happy that mouse is when he's chewing he's... on you? He's smiling. You can find us on facebook.com slash Top Shelf Pod. Good luck, and, the uh, beast. Oh, God. No, forget. I'm just gonna... Two arms up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and all our episodes are available on anything iTunes, uh, Google Play, any any streaming site you might use for podcasts. You can find us there. I'm just trying to. Speak. It's a great show. It's a fun show because it's you don't ah, have to. No. It's like a library show in that you can go back and listen to old episodes. Yeah, and, it's not. It's not. Uh, you do not have to listen to the episodes in any particular order. There's very. You might get a couple of callbacks, but for the sure. most part. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Oh, that armpit. Mm. Let's get out of here, TC. Thanks for, wa thanks for uh, watching. Watching. Well, people are watching this. Yeah, right? absolutely. Well, <laughs> by, by this point, I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you um, on the next episode. We're going to be playing Aladdin. So it's, we'll, we will be redeemed here. Okay. Well, okay. half. 
half redeemed. We'll see. Because the Super Nintendo game is great. The uh, Game Boy version uh... leaves something some, leaves something to be desired. Okay, uh, guys, uh, click on the left if you want to see some other videos from Technophiles, and click on the right if you want to go straight to that Aladdin video right now. Later. <laughs>